If you are interested in learning more about Blender 3D, then check out our Masterclass Introductory course available over at our website, baileygraphics.com. This course is the perfect starting point for anyone beginning on their Blender journey with over eight hours of content, all for absolutely free. So if you're interested in starting your journey in learning how to use Blender, then check out the link in the video description. For today's Blender daily tip, I'm going to demonstrate how you can ensure that you use natural lighting when creating your scenes by using a black body node. So we have a scene here with a selected light source. And if we pop to the object properties, we can see that we have the color for this light source. Now coming into the color wheel, we can actually change this to any color that we want. But the large majority of colors here are going to be referred to as artificial colors. Say if you wanted to create a light source, say neon lighting, this would work absolutely fine. However, what if you wanted to use a natural selection of colors? Well, it's a little bit trickier to do so with the standard color wheel. So what we're going to do is we are instead going to use a black body node to adjust the Kelvin scale of our selected light. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to divide my 3D viewport up into two, replace this 3D viewport with our shader editor. And currently you will see that the shader editor is empty. And the main reason why is because the black body node doesn't work in the EV render engine, which is what we are currently using. So we're going to need to come to the properties panel, go render properties and change the render engine to cycles. You should then see a use nodes option here. So left click and then you should see two nodes, the light output and the emission. I'm just going to resize my layout just so we can see this a bit better and hit the N key to close this side view in our node editor. You will see that we have two options here, the color and the strength. Now, rather than adjusting either of these, we're going to just add a black body node. So hit Shift A, go to Converter, and select black body. Then left click and combine the color to the color. Now straight away, you will see that we have a much warmer color in our scene. And what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to go to the world properties and I'm going to make the background pure black so that we can better see the effects that the black body node is having on our selected objects. Now what we can do here is we can either select the base strength or we can adjust this temperature value. Now the temperature value uses the Kelvin scale. So the lower this value, the more red the light appears. We can increase the Kelvin scale and that's going to make the actual color of the light brighter and brighter until we get to sort of like a sky color. So if we go as high as 6000, for example, we get this sort of sky blue color emanating on our objects. So as a rule of thumb, a lower temperature is more useful for those indoor scenes where you're going to want warm lighting and then a higher temperature is best suited for the outdoor scenes.